now today we're going to be talking about a little something called fucking Maltesers. Specifically, Maltesers adverts. Now, I personally find these adverts very interesting. They've got some good sides to them and they've got some very odd sides to them. So without further ado, let's get into the first one. So how was the big wedding? Oh, I didn't hear. Now something you're gonna notice is this lad is disabled. Now obviously I don't have anything against disabled people. I actually think that what Maltesers are doing with this is really cool. They're just showing, you know, disabled people are people as well. They just they have normal conversations like anyone else. Because obviously, you know, you don't really see disabled people on TV that much. So to put them in adverts, it's pretty cool. However, all right, there are some other things in these adverts that um are interesting. So how was the big wedding? Oh, I haven't yeah. you heard. No. So it's at the end of the night, everyone's on the dance floor really getting into it, you know? Yeah, you Can I just say, Oscar-worthy performances all around. I mean, you know when someone says like, you know, oh yeah, that we were dancing away. You know, you know how it's like totally normal to just start dancing along and recreate what was fucking happening. Like imagine if you were telling someone, oh yeah, I was, I was shagging someone the other day and then everyone at the table just starts fucking like, just getting, getting, getting involved. What a weird thing to get your actors to do. Say, this is my left wheel and this is the bride's foot. Yeah. Look at this guy. He looks seriously confused. Like, I don't know, I mean, should we, should we run? I mean, what, what, the, what the left wheel? This is her foot? Say, this is my left wheel, mm. and this is the bride's foot. Yeah. What the, the did you, did you fall out of the sky onto her foot? You just someone in a wheelchair and her foot a... Also, I've got a couple of complaints with this. Firstly, you've just ruined a perfectly good Malteser there, and probably ruined the table under it. <laughs> Secondly, do you want to make this demonstration any louder? You know, just like, oh yeah, I was, um, I was, I was beating someone up the other day and then just, just fucking, just calm down, alright? Everyone around you is just turning around being like, what the fuck? Like, I know they're acting, but it just pisses me off. They're acting like dickheads. Bush. Is she, is she saying push or bush? Maybe she's saying bush. 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 Well, I mean, what, are you, are you are you trying to say that her foot was like hairy? So it was like a bush? Very strange. I, I have no idea what she's trying to say there. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. How awful. Well, it wasn't all bad. I left with the best man's number. You no. are terrible. Guilty. <laughs> You know, yeah, I mean, you break someone's foot with your wheelchair, but hey, as long as you get some dick by the end of the night, it doesn't matter. Look on the light side. Way! Now, you see, another reoccurring thing throughout these adverts is the whole look on the light side thing that Maltesers are doing now, which, you know, I like that, it's fair enough, but it's just fucking hilarious. They'll tell a story like, um, oh yeah, I was driving my car and uh, I, was, I was drunk whilst driving, and I drove it into a corner shop killing about 10 people. There was a room above it as well and that came up as well, like the car blew up. So the building next to it set on fire. It cost like hundreds, hundreds of people's lives. In the end, a, a whole village burned down. But it's all right though, because I managed to get the shopkeeper's number. You are terrible. Oh, I'm not inviting you to my wedding. <laughs> so, uh, new boyfriend. Hello. Right. And we are back at his, getting a little uh, frisky. I think this one's probably the best one out of all of them. I really do like this one. It's, you know, it does normalise the fact that, hey, disabled people can be fucking as well. You know, it's it's all good. Except the overacting and stuff. They just laugh at everything the other person says and it's just, it just kind of pisses me off. My hands may have been uh, wandering slightly. Mm -hmm. Go on. And then I start having a spasm. No. Which he misinterprets. Oh, so awkward. So yeah. awkward. <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you having a spasm as well? I think we've got two at the table. Look, it just seems extremely patronizing when everyone around the table is like <laughs> He was a good lady. Okay, again, all right, I get it. Look on the light side. But can we not ignore the fact that this poor girl's having a spasm while the, the guy next to us getting the tug of love? Just fucking, uh, he's having a whale of a time, and she's fearing for her life. Just fucking, uh, uh. Uh, I don't know how serious spasms are, but she could have died with a man's dick in her hand. Like that's that's nothing to laugh about, you know. I can imagine if you were the guy and you didn't realise that your girlfriend was actually having a, sp a spasm or seizure or whatever, and you're fucking loving it, but you you look down, and you're like, oh, 
Why, why'd you stop? You know, don't, don't, don't half ass the job, you know, you gotta finish it. And it's like, oh fuck, she's, ah, uh, mm, ah. Uh. Again, I just wanna say, like, no disrespect to this girl and her, like, condition and stuff, because obviously she can't help it. And more power to her for getting, for getting penis. <laughs> but the advert's just a bit off, you know? Like, imagine watching this with family or something. Like, fuck, it's so fucking awkward. And again, at the end, we just have hysteric laughter. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> you know that necklace you left at mine? Yeah. The one that used to be your grand's? Yeah. Well, I may have accidentally worn it on the dance floor with Jamie, you know, the really fit one, and he spun me around and... <laughs> Snogged him, though. Just a snog? Don't remember. No, come on, you have to tell me, please. Oh, well, you clearly fucking loved Grandma's necklace, didn't you? As soon as she starts talking about snogging this lad, what, you gotta tell me, what, just a snog? What, what? Grandma's necklace that was salvaged from the ruins of Titanic was broken because of some fucking lad. Snogged him though. Oh, I don't give a shit about Grandma's necklace anymore. Let, let, let's hear all, let's hear all the deets, all the goss. Let's see what's going on. So, ladies and gentlemen, the moral of the story is, penis comes first. <laughs> In each of these adverts, they've had someone explain a story, whether it be you know, breaking someone's foot, or, you know, having a seizure, or breaking grandma's necklace, any of those stories, they're just instantly deflated with the fact that, yeah, I got some dick. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment if you're new, subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.